So what is good my video game nation? It is your boy Tad Monk. Now my I changed my new um my new YouTube name to the Tataquan because I'm in a clan. But you can refer me as the Tataquan or the Tad Monk, however you like. Now back into today's discussion. Now today's discussion is an interest to everyone and apparently news about the upcoming Venom film. They finally um Sony has finally reached a rating for this movie, which is finally PG-13, which I find it very surprising because I expected this movie to be rated R to see a dark version of Venom and dark violence, and plus there were scenes that could look like it could be rated R. I really don't know where they're going to take this one, but I can come up with three reasons, but I'm going to read you right here. Venom is rated PG-13 because Sony reportedly wants Spider-Man and Venom to face off in the future. Venom is officially rated PG-13, not R as some fans expected, according to Eric Davis, managing the editor of Fandango. It's so that Venom and Spider-Man can face off at some point down the line. Now, according to this, you know, people expected this movie to be rated R, and I, can't, I don't blame them. Like, look at this model of Venom. Like, he looked like he could be... This scene was supposed to be a bloody scene. And how are you going to make a PG-13 after he said he's just going to rip his face off in that? And I would like to see it. He was just about to do that. Like, oh, come on. I mean, really. There are so many paths that can go with this one. I get it. It is Marvel. But I want to... I just want to clarify something. There are three personal reasons why I think this movie became PG-13. Him and Spider-Man can face off, that's number one. Number two, Venom is Marvel, and Venom is for kids. And I get it, you know, Wolverine is for kids too, but he became R-rated just to close the story, and he became a, a, like a, an art. The movie was art. Um, Deadpool it may not be suitable for children, but at some point it was very entertaining. So with the R-rated version of any Marvel film, it would be very entertaining, like The Punisher, um, Blade, and these are Marvel Knights, and Venom is an anti-hero, and people would love to see him in R-rated, but if it's PG-13, I feel like it won't make me not want to go see it, but I was pretty disappointed because I really would love to see an R-rated version of Venom. I I'm being dead honest, but for a PG-13 film, I would definitely would consider giving it a try. I don't see why not, but... Um, yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want it to be R-rated? Are you okay with this? But as always, you know, let me know. Let me know if you guys know anything about the upcoming Venom film. Um, but as well as the three things I already told you, um, you know, Venom is for kids. It's Marvel. They want to keep that in some characters. Also, um, that. They do want to put Tom Holland, the actual Spider-Man from the Infinity War and Homecoming, against Tom Hardy's Venom. That's going to be a bloody fight, because when the last time we seen Tom Hardy as a villain, we saw him as the Dark Knight Bane, and he left Batman Christian Bell version in pretty intense pressure, and he broke his back in the movie, which is very good, and he was the calm version of Bane with that mechanical mask. Which was quite memorable for Tom Hardy's performance, but him as the villain is very good. Now, considering that we may also be, be seeing Venom clash with Spider-Man, does that mean can we also see Miles Morales, the young um, Spider-Man? Same last name as me, but at the same time, he is a cool apprentice of Spider-Man with an alternate universe as well as Spider-Gwen. And um, we could, could we also see Spider-Man 2099? Could be. I mean, anything is possible. If I even said that right. All right. I am, as always, I am the Tatted Monk. I'm the Tatted Quan. Let me know what you guys think. Are you actually pumped up to see Venom? Would you expecting an R-rated film? As always, and I just hit you with that one-two punch.